everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and in today's video, we are doing a restoration hardware outlet shop with me. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that Zach and I are trying to really develop our style and get rid of some of the old stuff that we have, maybe some of the things that just need replaced or that we, you know, purchased that were a little bit more cheap and really start to get high quality items that we can have for a very long time. As you guys know, we are currently looking to buy a house. So I am, and I've said this in lots of other videos, I am trying to visualize our home and purchase for our home. Now I know that's kind of hard with some furniture items, but the overall look I have a very good idea on and I really love to go to Restoration Hardware for inspiration. Before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for more Shop With Me's, for more Restoration Hardware or other stores that I go to or more Shop With Me videos. I also wanted to say that a subscriber came up to me. Hi Kim, thank you so much for coming up to me. If you guys see me out shopping, come say hi. I love you guys. And don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, especially if you like like curvy fashion or more fashion and beauty stuff. So go over there. My Instagram's Brandy J Jackson. I will try to put a little thing. I'm still learning all, all of the YouTube things. So without further ado, let's go shopping. As requested, this is an RH outlet only shop with me. And when I first walked in, I spotted these Indonesian stone currency discs. And I love these for like console tables or just like a decorative, piece that brings that earthy element and like well-traveled feeling to your decor or to your space. I wanted one of these so bad. I just really don't have anywhere to put them or store them. Call me crazy, but this couch I can totally see in like a gentleman's area of a home or like bar area. I don't know. I just really love this couch and I have for a really long time. Next, we walk through the coffee tables. And although I love the ottoman that I have, I want to see if I can find like a low profile kind of modern vibe and put the ottoman somewhere else. I do love, like I said in my last shop with me, this very low profile, like Bali inspired coffee table. I just, I don't know, it, I'm drawn to it. They got a couple more of these like breakfast nook round tables and I really love the legs of these ones because they're a little bit more traditional and I think that they would be really cool paired with some modern chairs. Oh, and then this rug, as you guys know, this is a dupe for the rug that I actually have that I got at Home Goods. I'll put in a clip at the end of the video, but we flipped through the rugs as well just to see what they had. And I was still drawn to the one that I saw last time on my last shop with me. So I don't know, I don't know what it is about like the Turkish kind of vintage inspired rugs, but I am hooked. So I flipped through more of these rugs. I did try to show you guys as many prices as I could, but I love, love, love the vintage styled rugs. And here she is. I love her. It's 1770, which to me is just, oh my gosh. It is a massive rug though, but I just think it is so incredibly timeless. I just, I love that rug so, so much. They had this one too, which I do love. I love the other one a little bit more, I think because it's more worn, but this one was massive and it was Okay, it was $19.20. $1,900 for a rug. Oh, I die. Just so expensive, in my opinion. But my gosh, they know what they're doing. I have been eyeing this dining table. I think it's called the Reclaimed Russian Oak Parsons table, if I remember correctly. It is so beautiful, and I feel like you can pair any chair with this table. I don't know what it was about this trip, but I was so into the coffee tables and this low profile reclaimed wood coffee table just caught my attention. It was $1,400, which I mean, if you're buying a piece forever, 
maybe that's not that big of a deal, but oh my gosh, I loved it. Even this cutie little table. I thought this was such a cute little modern table and this coffee table. He's caught my attention as well. If you weren't into the like Bali inspired coffee table that I shared last time, this one is also a really nice one. This one was $12.50 and I just think it's so cute. I've been keeping my eye on the dining tables because it is my dream to just to have a beautiful dining room and outside dining room because here in Arizona, there's a lot of indoor outdoor living not during the summer, but during other times of the year. And I just really love to get inspired with the dining room tables and the options that there are. So I'm constantly looking these over. You gotta be careful with the outlets though. They have a lot of damaged dining tables. So when we moved into our apartment, our bedroom furniture right now is kind of, our vision was to have that furniture in our guest bedroom in our next home. So I was looking at furniture for our home that we're gonna buy. And I do love a traditional or like more, something with a little bit more character. And I thought these, like this whole chest right here was $1,100, which, or the, the dresser, excuse me. And then these nightstands, I just think they give such like a European vibe. And I really, really love that look. I am kind of in between that and a modern look. But this chest right here, or you can even use it as a nightstand, I thought was so timeless. It was $850, and then there was this chest back here, and I think this one was like $1,100, $1,500, something like that. But I am battling with these modern pieces, and I just really love the look of the clean lines. As you guys know, I have a lot of vintage in our home, so I think adding the modern pieces, I'm kind of struggling between the idea. So have a little bit of time because we still have to look for a home but let me know in the comments below do you like more of the modern look or do you like the vintage timeless but this is 2150 and i just i don't know i, I can't decide what i love more Okay, do you guys remember in the last RH shop with me, I fell in love with this chair. I honestly couldn't stop thinking about it. And I decided that I was gonna go back and if it was there, I was buying it. I always say if it's meant to be, it'll be there and I'll take it home. So I went down and you guys, I was literally dreaming of this chair, but she was there and she was mine. So I took my baby home. Okay, so one area that I really wanna work on is my office area in the apartments, right behind our couch in our living room. But we have a really tiny apartment, as many of you guys know, and this space just really gets neglected. It's really random. I have this random lamp that just during the move, it got all messed up. And I have just like a vintage mirror on there and just random things. So I went to Restoration Hardware. You guys saw that I posted a chair in my previous or my last RH outlet video, shop with me video. And in that video, I shared a chair. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I went back and I got it. And I will show you guys the look right now. Okay, so I, it looks a lot smaller in the video than it does in person. It is a dining room chair. The only issue that I think I might have is like my legs, but I really love how it cleans up the look and adds a little bit of a modern touch and we will see how it works out. I figured if it didn't work as a office chair, it's a beautiful little like corner chair or a chair that we will be able to have forever. This is a much better look at the chair. It has a leather seat and then it's kind of like that gray washed wood look and it just has the most modern, beautiful lines. I absolutely loved it. And like I said, it's something that I think we can use in our future home and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I love it so much. I just think it adds the perfect modern touch 
to our space. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I did try to find some dupes or similar chairs and link them in the description of this video. However, they were not cheap, I will warn you, and I've linked this one as well. I am so excited to style this chair in future videos and in our future home. And you guys, I actually bought something. I was super impressed with myself, but I will see you guys in a couple days with my next video. Bye guys.